In this practice, the first focus is to make sure that our software is being tested to determine how well it's meeting the requirements. At this level, we're usually talking about standard quality assurance. Security functions are just functions. Test them. For instance, access control for permissions can be treated as a functional requirement. Hence, test it with both positive as well as negative tests. For an API endpoint, that would be, for instance, an HTTP 400 return code versus 200 code. This is something that QAs already know how to do. So it should be pretty straightforward. Aside from that QA, you should also invest in automation in and regression tests. Again, I'm talking about security related features and security related tests. When you move into abuse testing, this is where somewhat more specialized knowledge is required. The so-called evil thinkers. This is where you try to think like an attacker. How can someone disable or circumvent our security checks? Then how can we build test cases around that? We would like to automate this as much as possible. If the test is not automated, it can only happen once in a while, so relatively infrequently. Everything that is automated can be reached at during every build, sprint and deploy. The first stream of this practice focuses on requirements testing, while the second stream then is around trying to break things and think as an evil attacker. 